Hey guys, welcome back. And so, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Welcome back to another week of Sundays. Um, I just got out the shower. What was that? Your intrusive thoughts just get the best of you all the time. Um, I'm getting ready to go film. Well, not film. I'm getting ready to go do my makeup and stuff to film. I just got out the shower. My hair was curled. I don't know what happened to it. I guess like my shower steam heat got to it. But anyways, uh, the baby gets the best of me, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to go do my makeup so I can film a haul for you guys, which you guys would have already saw if you didn't. I'll have a link down below for you guys. Um, but like I said, I just got the shower and I'm getting ready to put on like my lotion and stuff. But I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I picked up recently from the body shop. I've been using it for the last couple weeks. And, oh, and so stop i've been using it for the last couple weeks and i wanted to share with you guys because i know mother's day is coming up um and i actually got my mom some stuff from here she always tells me how she can't sleep and stuff so i picked her up a lot of stuff that's like lavender infused to help her relax de-stress and get ready for sleep so i'm sure you guys what i picked up really really quickly um and then i'm going to apply my body care my son is just too much for me okay he needs like five hands i only have two but anyway so the first thing that i picked up i got this uh almond milk body butter it looks like this there were so many choices mm, it's just very like soft clean smelling like i feel like any perfume will layer nicely on top of this but there's so many different like scent families that you could choose from on the website so i got a little bit of everything so i really like the almond milk stuff just because i knew it was going to be like a little bit more softer and when i'm going to bed i do prefer a scent like that that's a little bit more gentle not super strong um before like body wash oh my gosh let me tell you guys this is my second one i went to go pick up another one i got this white musk shower gel um and i also got like the matching body lotion <coughs> Anything with musk is like a yes for me. Oh my god, it's like, it's soft, but you smell that musk. Like, it's not too much. It's not like super masculine. I went through this so quickly. Like, it smells so freaking delicious that I was like, yes, I need another one. So I ordered another one, and then I picked up the lotion, and I, you guys know, well, you guys might not notice, but I don't wear lotion that often because I'm lazy, <laughs> but... I've been getting through this, just not as quickly as the body wash, um, but it smells exactly the same. So I like to wear this like when I'm going out at nighttime and I want to have a clean scent underneath my perfumes for my night out. I usually go for my white musk. Um, Enzo, can you not? I just use this when I know I want to just have a lot of different scents layered that I'm going to smell lovely for hours and hours and hours. This white musk is a chef's kiss for me. Um, and then I also picked up a cuticle pen. Uh, I cannot find it because it's so well loved. I literally, it's like a pen that you can throw in your purse. I'll put it on the screen right here for you guys. I carry it in my bags and because I switch my bags so often, I just cannot figure out what bag it's in. But I just put it on my fingers, my toenails and all that. And I just carry it around because my cuticles do get super, super dry. Especially from like hand sanitizer and washing my hands and stuff. So the last couple things that I picked up, like I told you guys, was from the sleep collection. So it's uh, infused with lavender. Um, so you guys relax, be ready for bed, stuff like that. If you guys are the baby, you guys already know. I got kids. I can't hide the fact that I got kids. So I picked her up the body balm. I picked her up the common pillow mist. And I also picked her up the essential oil blend. Um, these are things that I know are like so highly rated from the body shop. I was reading the reviews and stuff. I'm not typically someone that like really like loves lavender. But it smells really nice. Like it's not like a strong lavender. It's very sweet and subtle. But you definitely smell it in the body cream. Um, I'm not going to test this one just because it's for my mom. And then this goes on your pillows. Which I was like, dang, maybe I need one of these for my pillows. Because there are some nights. I'm like, why is it taking me so long to fall asleep? Like, I would like to be asleep yesterday. Not like... 30 minutes from now um and then i also picked up the essential oil blend just so you can put it on like your pressure points and stuff when you just need help relaxing i also really 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 like the tea tree oil stuff from the body shop i've used that stuff for years uh tea tree oil to me just helps with everything in life sometimes i like to put like tea tree oil like in my scalp and stuff to just really like get my scalp just squeaky squeaky clean um and i just like the smell of tea tree oil so anytime i need to like open up my sinuses and stuff tea tree oil is the way for me to go so i do have a discount code for you guys to shop the body shop if you guys want to got some products i'll put it on screen for you guys right here as always i have all the links down below in the description box um but yeah i'm gonna get ready to go film i'm gonna apply some body butter because we cannot film with dry skin you know oh my god this feels so nice it's just so sweet and subtle not even like sweet like sugary sweet it's just it smells clean i don't know if you guys can tell but 
yeah i look way better so yeah i'm gonna go get ready to film and stuff and i will see you guys in a second i just got a lot to do today and i have just been doing absolutely nothing so that is fun yay me i'm gonna put a t-shirt on i'm gonna go do my makeup um and i'm gonna get my day going because as of right now it is not going and my baby's driving me crazy i forgot to show you something because i left it on my dresser but you can also like get these little bags what is this material like a canvas bag um to put products in so if you are gift shopping for someone um it's super super cute because you just build like a custom little kit and stuff i have all my stuff in here that i haven't opened yet that way i just know where my body shop products are so yeah super super cute though for gift giving um and yeah mother's day is coming up i was in the store and i saw all the mother's day's card mother's day days cards mother's day cards and I started panicking, panicking, like, what am I going to give my mom? Because you guys know, I like to give people super practical gifts that, like, they don't have but they need. Definitely feel like she needed the sleep collection. So, yeah, I just wanted to remember to show you guys this bag because I left it on my dresser. And I took my stuff into the bathroom to go shower and stuff. But, all right, now I'm going to do my makeup and stuff. My hair looks crazy. I ain't got no eyelashes. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Um, my baby's just following me acting crazy everywhere. God, why is the camera not straight but i just finished my makeup and i'm getting ready to film um i'm wearing like a little hoop i'm trying to think if i should curl these but i don't know i need to fix the thing i'm also about to go make me a drink because i got an attitude and i just anyways um i got a package in from my Teresa, we had a big body yellow box. It's my favorite boxes. Let me say my Teresa. Um, I didn't get anything expensive though. <laughs> I got some new balances. It says thank you. This package has been lovingly wrapped by Boba. Look at me a harp. Some newbies. I got a harp a size three. And hers look like this. They look kind of big, but maybe her feet is big. They look like this. They just remind me of like a dad shoe, you know? These are the new balance 530s. Um I wanted the white ones that had like the touch of silver, but they sold out and I just was like, whatever. So, so I got me the same pair. I got me a size five because luckily for me, I fit kids sizes. So I got me a kids five and mine look like this. They're super cute for like everyday wear. Like I just think this is like the perfect dad shoe. Like it's giving like old school A6. It's giving just retro, but they're not like bulky. They're not like a corny shoe um my baby is just off the wall today so yeah i'm gonna try them on um i can already tell i'm gonna like them now because they have gray they have silver you guys know i've been super into chrome as you can see i did my nails yesterday but i've been super into silver chrome metallic anything Ugh. so yeah i can tell i'm gonna like these they look kind of big i feel like i could have probably got a four but yeah i'm gonna go make me like a honey margarita or something and i'm gonna film this haul really quickly and then i'll come back on here in a little bit and then i feed my kids dinner and yada yada harper that's my mood exactly i will be right back y'all hello guys it is wednesday i know what you're thinking how is it wednesday that's kind of how i feel i also feel like i'm a little all over the place because i didn't start the vlog on monday and that's just because i had to just take a break on monday like i didn't realize how tired i was um and i just kind of had to take a step back bring one and a half cups i did too much i didn't listen i didn't listen i thought i remembered how much milk to put and now i poured too much um i just had to like take the day off monday you guys know harp took the day off we just retired like after my birthday harper's birthday my sister's birthday Cambodian New Year I really needed to decompress and I'm starting to realize today that I just haven't let my brain kind of like reset since like February like before the wedding um like once May is here May 1st I'm literally not stressing myself out about anything if I disappear for two weeks from content please don't be mad at me because I deserve the time off I just feel like constantly I'm in the house and I'm just like I know I got a million things to do. I have so many things to do. And either I don't do them or I'm just taking my jolly with time. I'm like, what's in my pocket? It's trash in my pocket. Um, yeah, I'm just tired. Not like, I mean, I'm physically tired too, but that's because I haven't been sleeping and I can't sleep because I'm just so stressed out with so many things on my mind that I just cannot rest. I'm just like mentally drained right now just because I'm just constantly thinking like, I gotta edit this sponsorship, I gotta get this out, I gotta do that, I gotta respond to this email, and like everything's piling up. And before I know it, boom, 
burnt out. So yeah, it's Wednesday and I'm currently making Ezra some lunch. Um, and I have a couple of things to do to help Jaylen with her son's birthday party. So I'm gonna do those. But yeah, like I was saying, Enzo had his second um, speech therapy session today. Um, it went a little more wonky than the first one, and I think that's just because like he was kind of tired. He's been going to sleep every single night at 10 p.m. Um, and sleeping until like 7.45 a.m. and then climbing in bed with me. But you guys know I get up at 8 a.m. to take her up to school. So I'm starting to notice that he needs his full like 12 hour span, um, I guess because he's so active now. Before he was already on like a 9 to 10 maybe 11 schedule but he definitely needs 12 now so um because of the time that his speech therapy works out he's just sometimes a little bit cranky if he doesn't get enough sleep which was today and he just was a little aggressive today like hitting me hitting her throwing stuff they, when he was getting irritated so i noticed that he's a little bit more attentive if he is well rested so over the next couple of days um, before his next session you want me to open that juice box for you i hear you struggling you got the right idea though babes i heard you hitting the straw come bring it to mama so mommy can open it for you um he um just needs a little bit more rest so he could just be ready to take in everything but other than that though he did do good we went out we went in the backyard we played with some chalk with her and um, we played with his toys and we're just working on right now say please please Please, say please to mommy. Say more. More. I'm just drinking the dance so you guys feel it. Hold it up here so you guys can see. Um, we're more working on like more right now, just so that he could have some means of communication. So yeah. Um I do have a couple packages that I want to open with you guys in a second once I make my way over there. I'm going to open a couple packages with you guys. I'll talk to you guys about something that I recently learned. Hopefully, I could do this all in time. So, one of Harper's birthday gifts that she asked for was something that, like, she could do the hair of a doll. So, I had saw this doll on um, TikTok. Me and TikTok. I love TikTok. And uh, I saw it when the creator had tagged Keith Lee and Ronnie. Um, and it's this healthy roots doll so they're dolls with like curly hair they have like i think three or four different variations of skin tone curl color and stuff like that and features to me the features don't change like a whole lot of it um but they do change a little but like you would never notice unless they pointed it out what they did is which is why i know that um but basically you could wash their hair play with it um like put like protective styles and like braids and stuff like that so you guys know obviously harp has curly hair she is learning how to do her hair so i thought it would be a great way for her to just practice on a head that's not hers by having this doll it is like out of stock completely on their website um but as you can see like right here it says wash style in place so i just thought it's a fun way for her to just really get to know curly hair because i know curly hair can be a little harder especially for a kid to learn how to do um, like I don't have curly hair so even learning how to do Harper's hair was a task at hand um, and she does have like easier curls to manage but she likes to do her own hair now but she still struggles sometimes. Um, and the next packages I have they're from Love Every and the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because um, our most recent play kit that we got in the mail it was for I think like month like 22, 23, 24 something like that. Oh yeah, 22, 23, 24. And the reason I had got that one, even though he wasn't in that age yet, was because he was right at the cusp of this play kit that I have in front of me in the box, which is called the Realist Kit. And um, when I looked at the play kit online, like to see what was in it, he was already doing some of those tasks. So I was like, let's just skip to the next one. And he's perfectly fine meeting like the milestones of the current kit he has. But I was talking to like the team members from Love Every and I was discussing with them how he's currently in speech therapy and speech intervention um, and basically how when it comes to his speech sessions, I only ever bring down, excuse you puppy boy, I only ever bring down like his Love Every toy specifically just because he really can focus on them. He likes to really take his time and get to know the toy. So I was telling the company how they really help us with our speech uh, therapy sessions and how it really is something that like me and the speech therapist we both enjoy doing with him because they are just 
helping him, you know, use his motor skills, fine tune them and stuff like that. After that, they actually informed me that Love Every does like a disability service program, which I knew nothing about and I just like, it made me love the company even more. So basically, if you have a child that is disabled in any way, you know, like, on the spectrum, uh, Down syndrome, speech therapy, delayed speech, anything like that, you can communicate with Love Every about it. I'll put the like direct link to the form down below. Basically what happens is, is like um, they will reach out to you and they will customize like a play card for you to really break it down when you should be doing certain things and introducing them to your baby or your child. But also you could like slow down the pace of your kids rather than like the traditional time limit that um, they would come in that way you just give your baby a lot of time to really get to know the toys master the skills before moving on to something completely different I did not know that um, it wasn't something that I ever saw like mentioned before or like directly on the site for me to see so after seeing that um, I did discuss with them that I think that Enzo would greatly benefit from having like a more customized um, experience with it basically getting like a more customized information card that will help me help his speech therapist but mostly me so that way I could further implement stuff into his daily life to help him get going with speech um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of you guys have been enjoying that I'm really open about this and, you know at the end of the day it's not something that is in my control so oh my god <laughs> I sent somebody an audio message and they said okay but yo, yeah, we got the realest play kit, which is the play kit that he's basically aged out of. It's from his last couple months, so it's 19, 20, and 21. Um, and I know he's going to enjoy this one because it is stuff that he already does. But I'm just excited to use this because to strengthen the skills he already has, but also to just implement the things that me and his speech um, therapist have been talking about. Hello, friends. Happy... What's that? Happy Thursday. Um, I'm just now leaving the uh, dentist. I took the kids to the dentist today. Harp got a little extraction done. And Enzo was awful during his checkup today. Uh, he was a little tired this morning. So he just was being so fussy. Luckily, Steph did his cleaning. So she wasn't judging me deep down. Deep down, she probably was judging me. But she wasn't judging me. And I wasn't as stressed as I would have been if it was a stranger. Um, so yeah, Enzo got his teeth clean, Mackenzie got her teeth clean, Harp got an extraction because her little um, adult tooth, when we did an x-ray at the ortho, her adult tooth was going a little to the side and it was never going to like push that baby tooth out. So we just went, and went ahead and got it removed, that way hopefully that adult tooth goes in the spot of it and we don't have to worry about like even more um, overcrowding and like teeth shifting and stuff like that. But yeah, right now we're on our way to the mall because I want to try to find at least like some pants or something to wear to Denver's birthday party and maybe even find him a birthday gift. So we're just gonna do that since I was out this way anyways because you guys know King of Prussia is just not like where I like to travel to. It's just far. Like unless I know I'm buying something, I don't feel the need to drive out here. Um, so we're gonna do that really quickly. And let me tell y'all something. I had a day yesterday, like just a very chaotic day mentally. Um, I'll talk about it when I get home, but like, I don't know it was a hard day for me and I, I don't have hard days often but I definitely had a hard day yesterday um, right now I think we're like in flower town or something like and we drove past like all these farms and so like recently I have like fallen in love with horses I don't know if you guys ever see um, <laughs> Katie Van Slyke on a uh, TikTok but I like when I tell you I am obsessed with her page that I go every day and watch the like latest updates of all her horses and like the foals and like the yearlings and the baby goats and the mini goats and the mini cows everything she posted about I absolutely am so intrigued and you guys know I was always like super into go like animals and, and stuff what is this 476 south. south where is that at valley force chester but i don't know i never really put any thought into like horses and stuff until i came across her tiktoks and i just find it like so fascinating how like smart of like an animal they are so anyways we were leaving 
Okay, turn this iPad off, thank you. Anyways, we were leaving and right away, I knew that we were like driving past people that live on farms and like the stables and stuff. And oh my gosh, their like stables were beautiful. They were like solar powered. Like these people got money out here. And I was like driving so slow, hoping that I was gonna see a horse. And I saw a horse and it's full outside in the front yard. And I wanted to pull over so bad because, oh my gosh, I want to just like witness all of it in this like natural habitat. So when I get home, I'm gonna try to find like a, um, a, um, a place out here that we can like visit. I've always wanted to ride a horse, even though I heard it's actually very hard and kind of painful. Is he snoring? What the heck? Oh, this truck is driving crazy. Um, but yeah, I want to see if I can find one to visit to just like watch the horses. Good morning, vlog. Let me, where's the light to this camera? Um, you guys haven't seen me because I told you guys I was going to keep a montage and I did not keep a montage because um, I just ran in the mall. This was so loud this way. I just, um, me and Steph are going to go run some errands and hang out. She's full of energy, so she's trying to be up and out the house right now. It's 10.30 in the morning, so I'm like, what am I wearing? I already know what Zozo's wearing. I'm trying to find my Farragut Essential shorts, and they just have vanished out my closet. I feel like when I'm looking for stuff, I can't find them. And I got some new sneakers in the mail yesterday. And I ordered some sneakers yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I'm so sick of driving. I sat in traffic yesterday for like two hours. So Steph is on driving duty today. We're going to bombard her car because I just cannot do it. Like, I just have been driving so often, I feel like. Like, last week and this week. It's chalk beef. Um, all right, let me get dressed real quick. I got to fix my hair. My One of my nails popped off. I got to fix that. Yes. I don't know what shambles. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, I'll be right back because I got to make myself look presentable because it's the weekend. And right now, it's not giving presentable. Right now, it's giving struggle. All right, so we're at the Volkswagen dealership right now because I wanted to see the cross sport atlas um so he just pulled one up for me and this is the blue right okay thank you oh yeah. it's this one right here and you got remote start on both mm -hmm. 60 foot from the, the key fob mm -hmm. but when you download the app which is called my vw okay a lot longer range okay some another announcement that volkswagen just made is it is like a blue so this one's white with <sighs> blue interior it's so hot today guys like it's this is like the wrong day to be out um looking for cars so i don't know i liked it last time but i feel like this was i mean this one's better i can see the difference between this and the atlas sure yeah you're gonna have a lot more trunk space yeah I and mean, it's the same engine chassis transmission yeah uh, i mean the rims are in like a deal breaker but yes it's hot all right, so now we're in a different Atlas, well, across sport that has like these color seats. Um, I didn't like them online, but I don't mind them here. But now that I'm back in the car, I feel like I actually I like the car. Like, it's a nice, it's a nice mom car, and that's like my biggest thing. And this one has better speakers. I just left Volkswagen. I had test drove the Cross Sport in the SEL Premium R line. I did like the car, it was nice. Um, I felt like I could feel everything in the tires, which was a little weird. Like, I felt like every little bump grew. Wow. Ev what? How you bite your own lip? Because you over there chomping, like, I ain't feed you today. I, like, I ain't buy you a $20 salad. <laughs> Our two salads was $35. Mine was, high, mine was high though because I got chicken and shrimp. And I would have never got shrimp if I knew that they were infant shrimp. I thought they were going to be like grilled and fancy. You like infant shrimp? I got 10 bags of them at home. No, I feel like, why are my shrimps this big? Do y'all want infant shrimp? I got 10 bags of them at home. Mm -mm. I need you prawns. Too? Do y'all want infant shrimp? I, I need prawn shrimp. Like those are so tiny. Those are the ones that if I get it from the Chinese store, I'd be like, I'm never ordering from there again because that doesn't even that's qualify as a shrimp. Yeah, like that's not even a shrimp for $20. It's a shrimp, get it? Shrimp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a shrimp and then shrimp. I said I wanted the crispy chicken. That chicken was not crispy. Mm. But anyways, we oh we had one to chopped earlier, chopped. Um, you owe me ten dollars. Why? Because I gambled ten dollars while I was sitting there. Girl, that sounds like. <laughs> your problem <laughs> not my problem um it's right over here and right next door to lexus 
Um, but yes, yeah, so I drove that one. I did like it. I don't know. I'm very indecisive. So I was calling everybody I could think of to, as well as Steph to get their opinion because I just do not know how to make big decisions like this. So there's that. The South Center and are here open during construction. You missed it because they closed it. Turn right. It says you gotta learn how to read a little quicker. How, or how am I supposed to read it and then turn? Um, so yeah, I like the car. I don't really know, but right now we're at BMW. How do you go from BMW to Volkswagen? I don't know. I really want a car that's practical. I thought that was a real dog. <laughs> I really want a car that's practical for the kids. So I did like that the Volkswagen it had sunshades in the back for Enzo and Harp. It was a panoramic sunroof. Oh, baby, you need a new car. Why? It's three different colors. <laughs> it was a panoramic. I want an X7 so bad. It was a panoramic sunroof. Um, they had like a lot of kid features, which I did like for them. But I feel like Atlas's, like the Crossbridge and the regular Atlas as well, they are geared towards families, which is nice. So I'm like, maybe that's not like a terrible idea to just get for like two to three years. But I want to see the BMW really quick. So I really like the color of this car. Do I need a color? Do I need a car that's this color? Absolutely not. But everything I came to see, they don't even have, which is tragic. Um... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, guys. <sighs> I just feel so burnt out. They only have the X5s and the X7s, which is terrible. This color's kind of spunky, too. Okay, BMW stepping outside of the box with the colors. You really hate to see it. I love this white interior they do. These are all 2024s but they don't got nothing i just told the guy i was gonna wait for him and i'm just walking off <sighs> they don't even have the car i came to see that is so awful look at the car lineup though that is such a cute color but i really like that one they got these people walking out of working out of trailers because they're doing like work on their thing. Dealer warranty, Acura MDX 2022. All right, we left car shopping. Now we're in Costco because I need like shampoo and stuff, and I'm tired of buying regular expensive stuff from Target. Trying to decide if I want this vacuum that's in here. It's a hundred dollars, but it's a little handheld one. It's not like a vacuum vacuum, so. I'm trying to figure that. Not you wearing your anniversary shirt when you're with me. Wait, come down this aisle. Where are you going? Oh, I need these. These are so expensive on Amazon. <laughs> how much? Are, how much are they? All right, I'm back. Uh, my face lately has not been impressing me that much. That probably sounds so crazy. Um. I feel like it's because ever since I got my eyelashes off, you guys know once you have eyelash extensions, you're like, oh my gosh, I look so nice. But at first you get your eyelashes done when you don't have them for a while and you like love your natural stuff. And you're like, oh my gosh, I am stunning without lashes. I don't need them. And then you get them when you have something coming up. And then you're like, wow, this is too much like for the first like day or so. And then you warm up to them and you're like, wow, these actually like bomb. They, I look so good with them. And then you have them and then you take them off and you're like, have I always been this ugly? That's kind of the phase I'm in right now. Like, I guess I'm so unimpressed with how I look. Um, but it is Saturday. It's 7 o'clock, and I'm about to cook dinner. Steph had requested me to cook her some dinner. <laughs> um, we were already, we're going to, like, hang out today. Um, and then she texted me this morning. I woke up to her texting me at 8 a.m. Well, I woke up at 10, but I saw her text from 8 a.m. And it said, you making spaghetti today? So I picked up the ingredients to make some big spaghetti because I haven't had it in a while, and i kind of been wanting it. But I didn't make it because like it's, you get big portions of it when you do it. Um, and I didn't want to eat it unless like Harper was ready to eat it and stuff because there's no point in me making a lot of food if no one's going to eat it or eat the leftovers and stuff. So yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm just going to start prepping. I'm also about to make me a margarita. Hold on. Um, that's all the groceries. I need to put this in the refrigerator. But yeah, I'm gonna cook. Oh, I'm gonna make me a margarita. That's what I was saying because I don't know. I just want me a drink. And my bartisan wasn't working for a while. Um, you guys know like my Keurig for alcoholic beverages. What does the dog have? Um, it wasn't working for a while, and that's just because I think that like 
uh, one of the sensors or something at stuck. Um, and I was like distraught. Please hold. I was like distraught that it wasn't working. And I don't know, eventually I was like, why? Is there no ice? Hold on, hold on. Anyways, it wasn't working and I just like was too lazy to like flip my machine over and get like a serial number and stuff. And I had tried fixing it by myself and like reading um, like Reddit and stuff, but eventually I did reach out to them via email and they responded like super quickly. They sent me like a troubleshoot thing, what they think was wrong with it because I sent them a video. Boom, that was wrong because I did it in <laughs> back in business. So I'm gonna make me a little margarita. I had one yesterday and it was delicious. So I'm finna have me another one. Oh my god, my little bangy bangs are just doing whatever they want. I'm so excited, guys, because I ordered the Dyson and the Shark thing, the Shark Flex style on the Sephora style, and I cannot wait for it to get here because you guys know I've been wanting it so bad, but I just was never spending the money. And I asked everybody to buy it for me for like my birthday and stuff. People will buy me anything else, give me thousands of dollars, and I asked for a blow dry, and everybody's like, You're being freaking ridiculous. They didn't know how much I wanted it though. So I bought it myself. I'm so excited for both of them to come here to speak because my hair just be looking boring. Um, it says, place a low ball glass with ice under the dispenser. Let's do regular and let's get her brewing. You really love to see it. I'm so irked my ice machine is not making ice. Good morning guys. Oh my God, another one of my nails just broke. I gotta go put some polish on them because can't have that good morning guys it's monday morning i did not upload sundays yesterday just because i don't know i haven't like took a sunday off a saturday as well in a while um and then i just was like i don't even think there was anything going on in that vlog which i usually don't care about but i don't know i just didn't feel like posting anything so i didn't how am i supposed to fix this it's monday morning it's 10 18 and i'm just about to do um like my little DIY, not it was not really a DIY project for uh, Denver's birthday party. So because I had did this last week, I couldn't really um, do what I wanted to do and get it on time. Not even that though, like I could get it in time, but like overnight, I also just do his croissant. Overnight shipping for like, to make sure it was gonna get here to me by Friday, hopefully. It was like $40, and that was basically the same thing as the poster, so I was like, I'm gonna do it myself. So basically, I had did like the welcome sign for the party, um, and like a milestone chart, like a one year milestone chart. Um, and I just got it printed on regular poster paper, and then I picked up some foam boards, so I'm just gonna like adhere the posters to the foam boards perfectly, and then cut them. Enzo was being a freaking menace today. It's ridiculous. So I have my box cutter. If my box cutter doesn't work, I'm gonna go get my rotary cutter. Um, and then I have like this double-sided Elmer's tape that you guys saw me use before, but it's like not working today. I don't know what's that about. So I'm just gonna trash this. I don't have time for this. Um, so yeah, let me try to adhere this to the border. I have a coffee because I'm so tired today. I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, I should probably brush my hair. I I have this really bad habit of like not brushing my hair until it's time for me to go outside. So I just be looking crazy. But my birthday gift from Steph came the other day and I have been wearing them ever since I got them. So for my birthday, Steph had picked me up the silver um, Nike Vomeros. You guys know I have the black pair. I don't wear the black pair that often just because like black sneakers give me like murder on my mind vibes. Like every time I put it on, I be like, I just look like... I'm about to go do some things I don't have no business doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, I'm not going to be home at a nice, reasonable time. I'm just going to be out. Like, let's go to the next spot. I don't know. Black sneakers just scare me a little bit. So, I haven't worn those yet, but I like that the sole is like a little tan on those. Um, I just haven't found like the right fit for them. But I've been wanting these so bad, and I have just been buying myself so many sneakers these last couple weeks in preparation for spring and like concerts, festivals, and stuff like that that... I wanted these, but I was like, I'm not gonna get them. Like, I'm so tired about myself sneakers. So I had politely dropped them in my friend's text, and I was like, hey, just in case you would've given me a B-Day gift. 
and she's like ordered boo they took a little bit to get to me um you guys know goat is just all over the place but i love them i just have been loving silver i need to find me like a little silver purse um but they're just so 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 cute and the vimeras are super super comfortable you guys probably have seen these like all over tiktok um but like they're so comfy they're not too thin not too wide they just go with everything and i get mine in like the u.s so yeah and then last week i had one to aritzia you guys know i went to the mall i, didn't, I never figured that's what i got but i have picked up um the cargos i wore on my birthday i don't know if i ever showed you the outfit i wore on my birthday week but you guys saw like in the montages and stuff the tan cargos i really liked how those fit so i went to aritzia and i picked up the green ones to wear to denver's party this week i don't know if i'm gonna wear them yet because i don't have an outfit like i don't have shoes to go with it a shirt or anything like that so I don't know if I'm going to wear them yet, um, but I have them just in case. But even if I don't wear them this weekend, I'll get a lot of use out of them like in the summertime. Like I think these would be super cute with like my Fendi slides, um, like my Iran slides, a white t-shirt, a white tank top, stuff like that. So because like they're just a good basic cargo to have. Um, and they're just really nicely made. They have like buttons on the pockets. Um, it's like adjustable right here. Like the little drawstring. I wish the drawstring was like not like a ribbon but like it looks like a ribbon material where i didn't like this string because like, i just feel like for like 128 dollars we could do better but it's okay um and like the ankles are adjustable just like all other cargoes hey guys so i'm about to go film a pretty little thing haul for you guys i wanted to show you guys what i got in the mail today hold on let me take a pic because my girls look at god i ain't got no rings on but it's okay all right, so what I got in the mail today, I ordered some extra like little, not skincare, I have originally was getting some sunscreen and I just found a couple other things I wanted to test out. So I picked up the Super Group Unseen Sunscreen and the Matte Sunscreen. Um, You guys know, I have the little travel size ones and I really, really like them. I need to get the glow sunscreen, but it's like always out of stock everywhere. So next time I stumble upon it, I'm gonna put that up. Um, but I picked up two full sizes of these now that we're in summertime. Um, I also picked up the Super Group Glow Oil. I don't know. I don't know. I picked up the glow oil just because I was like, let me just try that too. I picked up um, the Soothing and Refining Toning Essence by Wave. I've never heard of this company. It says use three to four drops into palm of hand, rub into hands, and perform a gentle facial massage to, to stimulate skin. Okay, I could do that. I'm excited about this because I heard a lot of great things about this brand. This is the um, Osea. Osea. A white algae mask to brighten and smooth i'm actually going to use this tonight when i wash my makeup off um it says brightens appearance of complexion organic seaweed white tea dimension surface redness for a luminous look mineral peptides firm and plump skin hyaluronic acid seals in hydration apply a thin layer to cleanse skin for 10 to 20 minutes rinse with warm water may be used overnight I'm gonna rinse mine, but I got this because you guys know I've been enjoying face masks. And the last thing I picked up was this Indie Lee De Stress Body Wash and Eucalyptus and Patchouli. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to try something new, so it's a seal on it. The Asia, I'm not really like the biggest fan of eucalyptus, like, I feel like a eucalyptus and like lavender, they're all like acquired smells. I couldn't see myself bathing in this, like, it's, it's giving earth. It's giving earth. I don't know. I don't really see myself using it. But I might just re-gift this to somebody or something. Like when I buy stuff like this, um, I always like keep it in a drawer if I don't like it. Or if it's something I love and I have extras. And that way if I have a gift to, you know, put together for someone. I have some products at home so I don't have to stress myself out. Actually, today is Jalen's mom's birthday and I'm going to see her this weekend. So I think I'm actually going to put together a little gift bag um, of like some of my favorite products for her. So yeah, and then I got something in from my Teresa. Um, and no surprise, it's a pair of sneakers. But these ones, these is the ones, baby. Don't say I ain't never teach y'all nothing. Oh, so, these are fire. These are the 1906s. I got a five and a half. Um, yeah, let me show. Are you guys ready for this? Please hold. Let me get rid of all. Are these not so freaking fire? So they're like silver, they have black in them, they have like this hint of blue. The blue really does it for me. Ooh, these are just too good. This is my second pair of like 1906s and they're really, really comfortable. I really like all the mesh body because they're way like more breathable. They have a lot of give, like they don't make my feet hurt. 
um, I don't have to break them in. They just feel like there's nothing on the foot. It's giving sexy orthopedic bay, and you really love to see it. But it's giving fly bay. So I picked these up. Yes, I know. I'm gonna stop buying sneakers. I don't have any other sneakers on my agenda, so I think that's my last sneaker um, of the month. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go film my haul really, really quickly. I have everything right here laid on the bed, so I had to like organize it and like put outfits together and stuff. But I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll come back on here. When I'm done, I let me go film real quick and then I will be right back with these earrings. A vibe, the hair, a vibe. If you guys want to see um the haul and stuff, I'll have it linked down below for you guys, and I will be right back. Hey guys, oh my god, the battery's dying. The battery's definitely dying. I'm gonna do steps now, it's really quick, and I'll come back on here and show you her nails. And I'll show you um, this package I just got in the mail. It's Denver's birthday gift. Oh, she plugged in over there. Because I don't got a battery, so. Uh-huh. <laughs> she late one? All right, I finished Steph's nose after she was the toughest freaking client oh, yet. No. She's never coming back ever again. She's banned on my booking list. No, it's the service for me. <laughs> Denver's birthday gift came here. I'm crying at me and my Moo Moo dress. And I'm gonna open it. I don't wanna open it because I don't wanna mess up the packaging, but I'm gonna open it. Because. Where's your fries? They're soggy. Not soggy, but like. Making the thing. I don't know if I'm gonna open it. I'm crying at you using the barbecue sauce you found. So I got DJ a gift. For my favorite store ever, my Teresa. Because who would I be if I didn't? I could make this bow. I could definitely redo that bow. Okay. I said thank you. This package has been lovingly wrapped by Jenna. Barb. Huh. I don't want to mess up his sticker. Slide it out the side. Hey, Bjork. I got him this little bait bib house thinking he's probably not even gonna fit these because he's kind of chunky. But it's cute. It's cute. Then I got him this one. How cute is this? These are just things you use for photo ops. Not in real life, you know. But how stinking cute is this bib? Then I got him a, what is this brand called? Comme des Garçons t-shirt. Do people still wear these? I've always I liked these. Shirt. I've always liked these t-shirts. I was like, are they still in style? And then I got him this little baby bait shirt. So cute. It's gonna look so cute on his little chocolate skin. Little bright colors. Blue is for my boy. How was this folded? These got him this bait t-shirt. Just I'm not unfolding it because I messed up that one. The camouflage. This is so cute. This is literally the cutest thing ever. Look, it has a little toddler thing, a little buckle. That is so, if I get into one. Mm -hmm. That one's expensive. Type for a book bag. Hmm. Wait till his birthday roll around. Maybe somebody will gift it to him. This is so cute. It's so kid friendly. So yeah, I just got him the bait book bag, the bait t-shirt, and the bait bibs. I just stuck to a brand, you know, I'm very brand loyal. But I know his parents will like it. Because I was going to get him some sneakers at first. But I don't know what sneakers they already got him. So I wasn't going to play myself, you know. Because they buy him sneakers a lot. So. Was it this way? Or no, it was just this way. I want to do chicken. <laughs> Not demolishing the chicken, though. First of all, you just came from lunch. First of all, you got here at like five o'clock. <laughs> this is like more than a shift day. You got here at five o'clock because you snuck and got your eyebrows done. I'm gonna eat all this asparagus tomorrow. What? Did he eat all this asparagus? You. Do you got parmesan on it? No. You were so busy eating my French fries and my chicken thigh, you didn't even realize I made asparagus. For sure, cool. You demolished it like that. Like, and ate all my french fries. <laughs> you don't know that. 
Like making me do your nails and then eating my food. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna eat my food after I just laid over your nose? We made it to Target. They've been having such cool pool, such cool pool, such cool pools lately. But I'm trying not to convince myself to buy one. You don't need a pool. And so <laughs> I would kick you, but you I'm on camera. I didn't look in the camera, you weirdo. You're so abusive. What's that? Dipping bubble blower. A little um, lunch bag at the front. What made that? No, oh, that thing looked cheap. I saw you opening it. <laughs> oh, so she flimsy. said. Never mind. I'm not even gonna tell you what she said. Who? I need to drink my drink out of this at the party. It matches. Oh, I could put our names on it. Color? You want dark blue or light blue or turquoise? I don't want turquoise. I want light blue. But I'm getting light blue. You yeah, just my work uniform. I can wear it at work. All right, I'll just get all three. What's the same one? It would melt in your mouth. It's so yeah. disgusting. It giving puffs. I hate it. <laughs> it literally dissolves in your mouth. Really Pause. Melts in my mouth like a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Paper tap. What the? That one wasn't me. <laughs> Are you trying to sabotage me today? Well, guess we're gonna turn around. <laughs> You're bugging. You're bugging. I need a. Can someone tell Stephanie to grow up? Hello, guys. It is. Friday. Um, just got back from like picking harp up and stuff. And I wanted to show you guys this little cricket project I did today because it's so cute. I did one for me and my friends. Ten dollars. You could probably get them cheaper on Amazon, but because I was right there, I was like, that would be so cute for me to put our names on for us to have our drinks out of. Um, because you know, like you lose cups, and next thing you know, you're on like your 50th plastic cup and stuff like that. So I picked everybody up these in the shade of blue, and I put our names on it in the cricket, and then I put it in white with like the silver underneath like a shadow it's so adorable right in the mail my shark flex style came in i got this one i got like the black limited edition one with the case and stuff um and i had also ordered the dyson air wrap that gets here next week so i'm gonna like use both for a couple of days kind of see what the vibes are with my hair because i like that this one has a diffuser because obviously my daughter has curly hair so i wanted a diffuser attachment um and i like that this one has like bristles in the round brush because i feel like because of my hair texture the bristles will be better but on the dyson one i like that it has the flyaway attachment because as you could tell i be needing to be tame so i feel like both devices have something that i want so i bought both i'm gonna test them out and kind of see how i feel about them but i'm about to eat my lunch and then i'm gonna go shower and do my hair with this one um because i look crazy my hair has been looking like this all week because I was like, I don't know what to do with it. I'm just waiting on my thing. Um, and I had bought a new shampoo and conditioner yesterday. So let me go eat and then I'll come on here when I'm out the shower and we could do like a little demo with our shark era. But I'm so excited. Hopefully it turns out good. The TikTok videos that I've seen, it looks good. And it was people like with similar hair texture to mine. So fingers crossed. All right, so I just finished my hair from like the second y'all saw me when it was dry. This side was the first side I did, and this is like kind of when I was getting to know the device. This is the second side. I definitely feel like this side looks a little bit more seamless, like as you guys can see, it's like a dent right here. Um, and that's just because like when I was doing it, I kept, I kept like wanting to turn my wrist when you just hold, like slide it up, if that makes sense. But like in my head, I was treating it like it was a curling iron. And then eventually I caught on, I was like, no let the air do all of it you just slide it up the hair strap but it's definitely giving voluminous it's definitely giving blowout so it looks cute i know it'll definitely look better like tomorrow once it all falls like right now it's just like super voluminous um and you can definitely see like where my layers are and like my curtain bang and stuff like that so it's definitely cute mm, i thought it was
was gonna be like a little bit more uniform but that's probably the way that i used the device like i definitely feel like this side looks a little bit more uniform but like i'm not mad at it like it just is giving blowout and my hair is just what are you talking about full of body air it's shiny that thing does get super hot though um and i know they say like the dyson one that's why the dyson one is so high because it is like more regulated with temperature and healthy for your hair like that drawing is hot you can turn the heat down but because i know my hair my hair always needs stuff to be on the highest heat setting but you guys can see how shiny my hair is and you guys know i don't use any product in my hair i use regular shampoo and conditioner from target like drugstore stuff nothing fancy so i definitely like it um i'm excited to like get familiar with all the pieces i did use all the attachments you guys know i used the nozzle to rough dry i went in between both of these brushes um and then i did straighten my roots before i went in with the curling barrel because that's just what i would prefer i like my i like my roots to look more tamed um because like those types of brushes don't never get to my roots anyway because so they're like a little bit more wavy of my natural hair pattern so i just went in with my straightener straighten my roots and then i went in with the curl barrel but i think it looks pretty cute um i'm not mad at it so yeah we'll see what happens with the dyson one next week i definitely need the flyaway attachment because i feel like blow drying it definitely just pushes hair in multiple directions okay so yeah i'm waiting on stuff right now because we have like, two things to do um and then i need to figure out what i'm wearing tomorrow and stuff like that because i still don't know what I'm i need to clean up my room was clean i don't know what happened you know like things just missing Welcome back to Asian Louis Vlogs. So today is my well cousin's birthday. Um, Jay Lynn's my mom's friend's son's birthday. As you probably know her because my mom been making a lot of videos with her. But this is what I'm gonna be wearing to the party. So first off is I have this New York kid flight shirt on. Don't mind how wrinkly it is. And then I have the blue mix up with green kiff little sweater. And then for my pants, I have green cargoes on with green Nikes and long socks with the chain. And a hair clip in the back, but y'all can't see it. And then my mom is wearing. She's just being swaggy. She just wants to be the cool person up there. All right, hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, currently waiting for everybody to get here so that we can head out. Um, we're just gonna all ride together, me, Steph, her boyfriend and the kids, rather than take two cars. Yeah. And that way it's just easier, stuff like that. So I have on um, the Colorado sweatshirt from Princess Polly that you guys saw on the haul. I did end up cutting it. And then I have on my tan cargos from Aritzia. My earrings are from Princess Polly as well. You guys know all my jewelry is usually like from Etsy, Amazon, stuff like that. I'm actually about to try on my green cargos just to see how I feel about those. And I'm just packing everything up to get ready to go. Um, Cause Steph should be on her way here now. So now. yeah, so I'm gonna go refill my water, make sure I have everything that I'm supposed to be bringing to this party before I forget. I'm like, what is that? It's my pimple. Not my pimple being reflective. Um, but yeah, alright, let's get out the door because I'll be driving down. So, and I used my shark air wrap today on my hair. So, what we'll see. The, huh? What time does the party start? At 3 o'clock. So, oh yeah, and Enzo has on green cargo as well and a gray t shirt and his new balances and a bomber. But I will see you guys in a little bit because I gotta finish getting everything together so we can leave because I gotta not forget anything. Hello, guys. It is Monday. <laughs> didn't post sundays on sundays but that's because i have a good excuse because i'm gonna end this vlog um after i talk to y'all for a second but i didn't post sunday because denver's party was on saturday so me and steph had obviously drove down um to maryland for the party and stuff like that is this uh what is this me and steph had drove down to maryland for the party um and then i actually didn't end up coming home so like my plans i have already edited sundays for you guys um and i just had to add like whatever i filmed that day which i did not vlog anyways can we not i did not vlog the party i didn't vlog my like whole enzo i didn't 
it, so. Um, I didn't vlog like my hotel stay or anything. Just because there just was a lot going on because you guys know like I'm a very organized, well prepared person. So I stayed and like that was not what was mentally happening in my head. So it threw me off, um, but I ended up staying at a hotel just because like Jay was not ready for us to leave the party. So I had stayed, um, I got to just spend a lot of time though like with Jay, um, Khalil, because you guys know he lives down there too. So it was nice and then I rolled back home last night. I got here at like six o'clock and I just was so pooped. Like when I tell y'all I, I'm not young anymore child. Drinking these days takes me out the game for 48 hours. I literally just woke up, me and Zoe, and it's like 1 p.m. I didn't even do anything, but I'm just so tired. I just needed to like recuperate. And because I didn't have my laptop, I couldn't post Sundays anyways. Like it wasn't like I had uploaded it. I had just finished editing it so that way I could just add whatever I needed to add. Um, but in the future, I'm just going to take my laptop anywhere I go because I just never know. So it wasn't my intention to miss Sundays again, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Like, it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, it's Monday morning. Well, Monday afternoon. And I'm about to make me and Ezo some lunch. I got a package in the mail. So I'm going to open it with you guys. A little tired still. You guys could like tell by my face. I'm tired, like uh, sleepy. I just feel like so exhausted, but I know it's because I need to drink water. Ignore my bra strips. Um, but I need to like drink some water. I need some Gatorade. I need some electrolytes. Like I didn't even drink a lot. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't hung hungover or anything. It just takes me a while these days to just get myself back to normal. Um, so yeah, let me get my package real quick. And then I'm gonna go add this little clip into Sundays and post it for you guys. Cause you guys are DM DMing me like, where is Sunday? Where is Sundays? Girl. I have been consistent for a week, okay, for months. I could take a weekend off, um, but yeah, me and Zo, I don't know what I'm gonna make us for lunch. Oops, not me using this in the book. Uh, I think this is a pair of sneakers. No surprises there, are they? Um, it's my last pair of sneakers I'm ever buying in my life. Like, I don't even have room for more sneakers. I don't have room for more heels. I just need another closet like three closets is not enough i just need more stuff more space for my stuff um and i like my shoe collection so i don't see myself selling anything in my shoe collection so i know so i don't know what we're gonna do guys um but yeah now it's may 1st so life is finally like cooling down for me like i don't really have much things planned now um but i am going to try to take my kids on vacation so i need to figure that out for us and just kind of like take it easy because i told you guys for like the last couple of months i literally have been um just like in overdrive it looked like this now it just broke i learned on tiktok that basically builder gel is not good for my nose because my nose are so weak that i need to be using a rubber, rubber rubberized gel love tiktok for teaching me new things but i picked these up because i like the blue and I, it's like a taupe wait i don't wear these colors often but i don't know i thought they were cute so i got them in six and a half like i said they come with an extra pair of laces right here um and yeah i got these from my Teresa. they don't get like every single sneaker drop but sometimes i do just go on there and see what they have and they had these in stock so i just picked them up because they were like 150 170 or something like that and i was like i don't like them i'll just sell them like it's not that serious like i'm not gonna keep stressing myself out about returning things so yeah they look like this super super cute though i'm gonna try them on see how i feel about them um because why are you hitting me what did i do to you what did i do to you i was gonna order your motorcycle and now i'm not because you're being rude yeah i'm gonna go edit this into the vlog and post a vlog for you guys so you guys can see this vlog i apologize for there not being any montages and stuff because i don't know i just didn't do anything montage worthy i guess like I was editing, I said, dang, I didn't montage anything. I also think though it's because every time I've like gone out, I've always had like Enzo and he's just so active that I just don't really have the energy to ever montage when he's with me. I'm like, that's stuff that I like to do in my own time because I like to like perfect the angle and all that stuff. And when he's with me, I'd be like, no. So yeah, I will see you guys next week. Remember, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. We have a Wednesday video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being patient and allowing me to just enjoy my weekend with my friends. And last weekend, just taking off. Um, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel so tired. Let me go eat, child. Let me go make myself something to eat, my baby, because I hate my hair in a ponytail. It's just... I need to get my eyelashes filled already, by the way, but... Oh, I have... No, I'm not going to show you guys next week. I'm not. I'm not. Bye, y'all.